Understanding income and expense metrics are important in this industry, but it's not wise to apply global averages and medians and ratios on any one particular asset. For instance, putting too much emphasis on operating expenses as a percentage of income can trip you up and possibly cost you a really nice opportunity. Stick around, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper. Let's go! I was recently on Jerome Meyer's podcast called Multifamily Missteps, and he asked me about using operating expenses as a percentage of gross income and whether that's wise. Take a listen. I love when I look at models and I see people just use percentages to come up with their net operating income and all the other things. I feel like at a certain rent number, all of the formulas break. When you're looking at pro formas, building pro formas, do you feel like the ratios or the percentages hold whether you're buying a property that's renting at $600 or one that's renting at $1,600? No, I mean, for me, percentages versus dollar a unit a year type stuff are much less accurate because again, a very profitable, good location asset. This is the average rent of a 50 unit deal in a B or B plus location or better is $1,200 a month, but their expenses are still only $4,000, $4,500 a unit a year. That expense percentage ratio is going to be a lot less because the rents are so high. Percentages are only good in a macro sense. They're good when you're reading a National Apartment Association income and expense report because they're taking about 4,000 deals, hundreds of thousands of units into a report, and that's good to read. That's how I know that expenses run $5,500 to $6,000 a unit is from reports. It's only a gauge, but you have to dive deep into every single property. Things in the North have snow plowing. There's different expenses that can change things. So I don't like percentages. I like dollars a unit. So for me, when I see a new listing come out, one of the quick things I do is if I saw a 40 unit deal come out and they had expenses of $2,200 per unit per year, I know that's complete horse. The seller's line, the broker's line, someone's line, you can't run any property for that amount. You can't run a quadruplex for that amount. A quadruplex is $3,500 a unit a year, no matter what. Per unit per years are my easiest, fastest, most accurate way. But even those, you still have to dive deeper and understand the asset, the surrounding and all that stuff. Don't let some report that covers 5,000 plus apartment complexes dictate how you buy any one asset. Dive deeper. I hope this video brought you some value, and if it did, please hit the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell right next to you. That way you'll be aware of the videos as they come out each week. See you guys on the next one.